Is there objection to the modification? Madam President, I object to the modification. There is objection. Is there objection to the original request? I object. Objection is heard. Madam President, I renew my request. Is there objection? Madam President. The junior senator from Idaho. Uh, Madam President, reserving the right to, eject, uh, to object, I want to uh, speak today on behalf of my amendment, uh, Race 4794, which is not included on that list, which I have introduced with co-sponsors, Senators Portman, Cruz, Barrasso, Johnson, Cotton, uh, Danes, and Wicker. This amendment uh, is the Senate companion to bipartisan language that already is included in the House passed NDAA, which would sanction Nord Stream 2, uh, Putin's premier uh, energy weapon against the Ukraine and Europe. The timing could not be more important. Ukraine stands on the brink of an invasion, and Europe is in the throes of an energy crisis created by Russia. There's a reason Ukraine's President Zelensky tweeted an urgent request last week regarding this amendment, which said, quote, all friends of Ukraine and Europe and the U.S. Senate uh, should back this amendment. We're now seeing the consequences of the administration's decision to waive mandatory peace of sanctions and refusal to impose CATSA sanctions. Russia has deliberately cut uh, gas transmission to Europe through the Ukraine and is using high energy prices to pressure the EU into approving Nord Stream 2 as quickly as possible. Putin has publicly stated this such. Meanwhile, Russian forces have built up along the border with Ukraine in preparation for what could be a full-scale invasion, just as they did to the Crimea. Remember, Nord Stream 2 is designed to replace Ukraine's gas transit system, meaning Russia no longer has to worry about destroying its own infrastructure in the event of a full-scale war. We cannot allow uh, Putin's blackmail to succeed. Nord Stream 2 has always been a bipartisan issue here in the Senate, and it should continue to be. Not a single member of Congress supports the completion of this pipeline. I'd like to think a similar number of us don't feel we should ignore our friends in Europe, particularly Central and Eastern Europe, who stand to lose the most from Nord Stream 2. Our amendment would impose mandatory sanctions against Nord Stream 2 AG, the company responsible for the project, as well as the companies involved in testing and certifying the pipeline before it can become operational. We do provide the administration with a pathway to lifting these targeted sanctions, pending, of course, congressional review. This pathway is the exact same process for congressional input that 98 senators voted for in CATSA just a few years ago. Nord Stream 2 is not set to become operational for months, so there's still time to stop it, but we need to act quickly. I urge my colleagues to join our distinguished colleagues in the House of Representatives on this important endeavor and to vote yes on this amendment. Therefore, I ask unanimous consent to modify the request of the distinguished Senator Reid and include my amendment number 4794. Is there objection to the modification? Madam President, I object to the modification.